So allow me to explain what we're doing here. So I went on a nine day cruise, right? And of course, as I usually do with my uh, traveling experiences, I make vlogs out of it. But this isn't going to be a regular vlog where I just talk, next clip, talk in the next clip, etc, etc. This is actually going to be a cinematic vlog. So I'm going to divide this vlog series of this cruise into five parts. So I went to Mexico, I went to the Bahamas, I went to Jamaica and I went to the Cayman Islands. And then I want to also make a separate vlog of my experience on the boat. And that's the one you're gonna watch right now. What was the cruise like? How fucking expensive was all of that shit? And that's basically what we're doing in this vlog series. So anyway, before I even start this vlog, I just want to say this was a fucking amazing experience. I hope you enjoy the vlogs and get a, a get a nice insight in how amazing this cruise actually was. So in between these cinematic uh, shots, I will actually pause the video to add some extra information if needed. Um, but that's basically it. It's mostly going to be cinematic. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy and um, I'll see you guys later. So it's currently 2 a.m. in Miami, which translates to 8 a.m. in the Netherlands, which means I've been up for 24 hours right now. So I'm going the fuck to bed. So I decided to buy some of these Sour Patch Kids uh, at Miami airport. And is this what all y'all fucking Americans are hyping up this much? Is this what you all grew up with? Like, it's super basic candy, man. I was like... Oh my god, this is going to be the best shit ever. All these Americans are like, Sour Patch, Patch Kids are the shit. This was my childhood. And I'm just like, was your childhood this shitty? It, it's not that good, man. It's really average fucking candy. Palm trees out my window. Never thought I'd be here right now. Balcony with my dream team. Can't help but think it's our year right now. Girls, I ain't really talk too back home. All want to hit my phone right now. Telling me that they miss me. Begging me to come home right now. I know they want what they can't have, but it's good for my ego. She tell me that she love me after every glass of that vino. And I love that shit for real. Even though I don't love that chick for real. I'm on Pacific time. With the homies, got a brew in my hand. Pacific time. Way before they knew about me, I knew I was the man. Feels like we meant to be here in a city of angels, home of the Dodgers, straight out of winter in Michigan where they park the cars in the garages. I'll be on a 405 November night with the windows down. Girls want to play games still? That's cool with me because I win those now. I'm so P-A-C-I-F-I-C. I'm out here chilling. You know where to f i B P A C I F I C. I'm out here chilling. You know where to F I B. Pacific time. Pacific time. Pacific time. Yeah, light work in these bars. They said that won't take me far, but I'm further than I've ever been, and I'm steady climbing these charts. Like right now, I'm nice right now Be dumb if I took your advice right now Small circle, my team good So don't look at me for a slice right now Fresh out of these stakeholders Know every name on my payroll And these girls tell me they catching flights To come see me and then lay over Bullshit, but I entertain it They blow smoke, but I can explain it They know they kid about to blow So they making arrangements Pacific time Got a brew in my hand. Pacific time. Way before they knew about me, I knew I was the man. Feels like we meant to be here in the city of angels, home of the Lakers. We gonna take off. Only question is how long it'll take us. Meantime, I put emotions to the side, replace that with an ocean to the side. What a view, right? We the do right crew. Give a damn what you like. I'm so P A C I F I C. I'm out here chilling. You know where to F I B. C-I-F-I-C, I'm out here chillin', you know where the F-I-B-P-A-C, 
Okay, so this boat, the MSC Seaside, actually had these themed nights, okay? So, you had this Italian night, you had this white casual slash 70s night, but the most outstanding one was the first night we were on the boat. It was the elegant night. Just look at all of these people. You see these suits? You see these dresses? This is actually what everyone was wearing while fucking eating dinner on a cruise. Like, I felt so out of place. All these rich ass people were just dressed up as if they were going to a fucking wedding. And this is what I showed up with. Look at this dude. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, everyone was looking at me as if I was fucking stupid, I was just walking in there with my fucking wannabe rapper outfit and it just, I felt so out of place for the entire time I was there, we basically had dinner for like one and a half hours and I felt so out of place, these elegant nights are fucking stupid, there were two elegant nights and <laughs> on both elegant nights I was wearing stuff like this. I mean, I mean, I don't give a fuck, man. I'm not a guy that wears suits and dresses and tries to look fancy and shit. I'm just... You're... I'm just a basic-ass guy. Like, I'm not gonna fucking do that shit. No fucking way. Anyway, I just wanted to point it out. I looked fucking stupid for the night, but I don't give a shit. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Shout out my people and them out that ride for me. I know the people that die for me. Hollywood got a monopoly on what I'm trying to be. That's why I'm moving in all on their property. Probably question the timing. It's not early. Everything I do, I do that shit properly. Look what I gave you for free. You can't be mad at me now that I'm eating my broccoli. Mixtape, prodigy. You know mine are like albums. Don't lie to me. I'ma be putting them out until no one on top of me. All of the local kids all want to copy me. Most of the local is show them what not to be. That's why this rapping is more than a job to me. Sign a deal now, man. It's basically robbing me. First one to sign me is hitting a lottery, boy. Boy. Okay, so I know you're probably thinking, what the fuck is this picture? It's the name of one of the employees on this MSC ship, why are you showing this? I just wanted to talk about the employees on the MSC Seaside. So first of all, of the employees, none of them are American, even though it's an American cruise, none of them are American. Um, they're all from Puerto Rico, mostly from Puerto Rico. Um, there's Europeans, there's people from, from fucking Asia, there's people from basically all over the world, except for America, it feels like. And me and my mom, we like to talk, we like to um, just talk to people, we like to uh, get some new contacts, uh, hear people's stories, etc. And these people seemed so surprised when we actually talked to them. Uh, they were so nice to us and they... I, they, they, they were genuinely surprised that we talked to them because all of these rich ass people on these cruises never talk to them. They just treat them like they're, they're servants and they're just like, yeah, clean up my shit, give me food, blah, blah, blah. They, they don't give them a look, they don't talk to them, they, they don't say anything. And we are just nice as people. We were just talking to them, um, especially this guy. He was really nice. Um, as you can see, his name is Jim Bryan. Um, I only figured out his name like the last night um, because he actually uh, we were we were thanking him for his service. We were he was a really nice guy and he was always talking to us, telling stories about where he came from, etc. And we were just going to thank him. And then he he said to us, um, "Whenever MCC site sends you an email, um, can you please talk about me so I can maybe move up?" And this guy was the most genuine guy I've ever seen. So I took a picture of his name because I didn't know his name before. And whenever I do get that email, I'm going to recommend him because he was the nicest guy in the world, man. 
Um, then we had this other guy, he was our main uh, waiter. Um, I called him Pablo for the entire time, even though I knew his name was Wilfredo. Um, Pablo just fitted him better. He was also a really nice guy, but he seemed so stressed out because he had to do so much. He had to please all the guests in that fancy ass restaurant. Uh, nobody really looked at him. We were the only ones talking to them. And he always seemed so fucking stressed. And then we had another really nice girl who served us our cocktails. She was called Carmen. And she basically always wanted to serve us the cocktail. When, whenever a colleague uh, was asking her if he should bring it or if he should just get it at the bar ourselves, she would always insist, no, I will bring it to them, blah, blah, blah. And that was basically because she always wanted to have a conversation with us. Uh, she was always asking how our day was, where did we go, what did we do, what have we seen, etc, etc. And then we would ask her how her day was, how her family was, etc. It was just a nice conversation with her and, and she said to us that she, that she never really talks to the people on the cruise. Because they're always busy in their own world, their own rich fucking snob ass world. And they're never really talking to these employees. And I've seen it myself, these people are the hardest working fucking people in the world. And these rich people don't give a fuck, dude. They just want their food served. They just want their fucking drinks served. They just want everything. They're their servants. And then they tip them with like fucking two pity dollars. Like, for real, man. I fucking hate rich people. These people need to fucking respect the employees. And they never do. The only thing they did was the final night. Um, and it was only because the crew said it, by the way. Um, they announced on the final night, the final dinner. They announced, okay, we're going to thank all of the employees, and they were waving their tissues around. But these richest people just thought it was funny to wave their tissues around, etc. They don't give a fuck about the employees, dude. They're their servants, and I feel like they should respect them way more. The cruise was amazing, but I hate rich people. I'm so P -A -C -I -F -I -C, I'm out here chilling. You know where to F I B. P -A -C -I -F -I See, I'm out here chilling. You know where to F I B P A C I F I. See, I'm out here chilling. You know where to F I B P A C I F I. See, I'm out here chilling. You know where to F I B Pacific time.